Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we're going to play with a little swinging fly. This is uh, great for steelhead. Um, I've caught uh, um, uh, uh, king salmon or, or spring salmon on this one as well in a slightly larger size. Um, but uh, this one I use a lot for steelhead. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let us switch over. So we will start today. Where did I put the hooks? <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. Um, just uh, NFL season started, so it's just halftime in my game. So I figured I'd just uh, get a get a, a video done. So Partridge Redditch, Redditch, Absolute Predator, size four. Is what we're going to start with. We're going to use uh, some. Semperfly Nano Silk in black for the main thread. For the hot spot butt, I'm going to use some Semperfly Classic Wax in this floral red. This stuff is extremely, when you, when you hit it, it's extremely uh, um, UV. It really pops, right? So I'm actually going to turn this light on and see. No, I'll turn it down a bit. Just get, there we go, just a little bit more light. Um, for the, uh, um, the body material, going to use some of this uh, orange floss um, for the rib on the uh, um, over top of that it's going to be using some purple semperfly or they call it dark claret but sem uh, straggle string and then for the uh, collar some black ring neck spay and then for the front of the collar just to finish up I'm going to use some strong neck uh, in purple okay here we go so first things first gonna find my wax gonna wax my thread uh, of course what did I do I pulled the thread out so just give me a sec I have to re-thread this yeah this is a, a great swinging fly I've done very very well with this fly over the years uh, oh, I forgot one, actually, one other, uh, there's an underwing that's going to be made out of uh, predator fiber, Semperfly polar bear color, so the white is an under for, under, uh, underwing, so. Okay, just wax my thread, this just so it helps stick to the, uh, to the hook a little bit better. I'm actually going to straighten that hook out, just so it's a little flatter, there we go. So going to just start it there just roughly and then I'm just going to open turns back because it's just for a, a hot spot butt so it doesn't matter what's up in the front so I'm going to come down around the corner just a little bit not a lot up to there and then just come back up and go back down just give it a flatten my thread It's just a nice little thread hot spot. That's all it is. So just going to go back and forth two, three times. Just to make sure I get that nice bright orange. It's a target for them, right? So. Okay. So that's about good. Now I'll just come up. Just do a whip finish. Again, like I said, it's not important where it ends up. And I'm going to take my Gulf Thinman and just give that, that butt just the thinnest of coats. So it is just a protection more than anything. Um, it will enhance the UV properties just a little tiny bit as well, but um, it's more for protecting it from the fish more than anything. So, and see how that just pops out, Gary. Let's see if I can focus this just ever so slightly for you. Okay, 
Now, wax my black thread, my nano silk. You do want to wax often on this, especially once you get to the collars and stuff, because um, especially the uh, predator fiber, it's quite slippery. So we want to make sure that you, that it gets held in, so wax your thread. Just back to there, back forward, grab my piece of straggle. Just tie that in right to the start of the hot spot. Get that out of your way. Take a piece of your floss. This is a um, burnt orange, this one. Come back, but leave a good space at the front here for your collars and stuff. So again, just going to come back to where that orange hot spot. That's why I'm lifting just to see where I am. Let's put a half etch in right there just to hold it, just to make sure that it doesn't fall off on you. Take your floss. And if this gets a little bit bumpy and ratty, it's totally fine. Uh, like like sometimes with floss when you've got like rough fingers or whatever, it'll it won't be perfectly smooth. Um, and in some flies you want that perfect smoothness, but here it doesn't matter. So just tie that off. Just make sure that it's tied in nicely. I come back just a bit. Just to make sure, take my string and I just do one full wrap right at the butt and then I open it up and I'm going to rib it forward, palmer it forward. And then one full wrap there. Hold it all back, just get that out of the way. Cut off your Okay, so now it's important you wax. At this point, stuff gets starts getting slippery, and I really like waxing it. It's actually, fairly heavy. So now I'm going to take a piece of the the uh, predator fiber here. About there's good. I want it a little bit past the bend, roughly. So I'm just going to hold it there. So I'm going to hold it so it's actually into the uh, eye. Just get one little wrap and then I'm going to just pull it back so it's out of the eye. Right? That way I know it's it's far enough forward but it's not in the eye, right? I don't want it in that eye. And I'm, I'm yanking on this thing pretty tight. Like if I, I'm yanking pretty good. I want this stuff tight. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it roughly a little longer than the than the bend of the hook. And that's about it. Okay. Not really liking the lighting on this one. Let's see if I can get this lighting a little bit better. It's creating a lot of shadows for some reason, but yeah, it'll do. Okay, so once that's done, that stuff's all out of the way, I'm going to take my black spay hackle. Um, now, whether it's a ring neck pheasant or whatever, I really like the, the effect the ring neck gives, but uh, if you've got other types, that'd be fine. I'm just going to grab one feather out of here. So one feather. And I'm going to get rid of all the fluff on the bottom end. So I don't want any of that those fluffy fibers. Okay. 
Then I'm going to make sure I've got the shiny side out. Okay, so that's this. This is the shiny side. So I'm going to have that facing out. I'm tying this in by the butt, right on the side of the hook here. And what I did forget is to wax it. So I'm just going to wax a little bit, just so. I know it's nice and tight in there. Nip off that little butt. Take my hackle pliers. Find my little tip. Just be right about there. And then I'm just going to make sure that all these fibers get stroked back. I want them in a backwards, swept backwards motion. Right? So right up against that, that underwing. I like doing about three, sometimes even four, depending on the feather, full turns. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this whole feather up. Okay. Stroke it all back. And then come back over top of it just a little bit. You see how I've come back over top just a bit, tad. I want to force that stuff, sweep it back, right? Now I'll take my, take a uh, saddle hackle here, one that's got some fairly long fibers like this one. It's got fairly long fibers. And again, I'm going to go where the, where the um, center stem starts getting a little thinner, just so it turns onto the onto the hook easier so it's not as uh, not as brittle right and again shiny side out tied in on the side here I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put I want to wax this do that again put that on that nicely waxed in there and tightened down. What's in front? Cut off that stem. Again, take my hackle pliers. Sometimes you don't need them depending on how long they are. Um, for this one, I'll use it. If it comes off, I'll use my hand. And again, make sure all these fibers are stroked back, right? Actually, I'm just going to go in there because there's the stem piece of that last hackle that's in the way. Didn't cut it down far enough. And every time you come around, I want to do again, what, three to four turns? It just came off, so three to four turns, so there's two, there's three, and I think that's where I'll stop. This third one, and I'm gonna come and tie that off. Tie that off, stroke everything back, your fingers. Force it back over top of that just a little bit if you can with your thread. Building a little bit of a head. See how that sweeps it back a bit? And then I'm going to come and just three, four turns, and I'll do another four turn. Four turn, cut that off. Get rid of that little piece that's in there. Get your feather. Nip that off. Just take a brush and just brush that just to make sure they're all separated. And there's the finished product. There's the finished fly. Yeah, so that is it. Uh, it, like I said, it's been working really well for me for probably close to 10 years now. I've used this one. I think the only difference is that uh, um, I never did uh, um, the UV resin in the butt because UV resin wasn't around 10 years ago. So 
um, but uh, all these other products or similar products to this have been around. I've just tweaked it a little bit uh, over the years with um, with some of these synthetics like, like the straggle string. Um, I used to use like a purple um, a dry fly hackle, but a really small one like for like a size 18, 16 um, fly on this size, just so I could get just that little bit of a of a segmentation and, and to help hold the uh, help hold that wing and stuff out of the way more than anything. So, alrighty, so give that one a shot. Um, if you uh, like that video, give her a thumbs up. If you've uh, subscribed, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. Spread the word, let everybody know, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next time video. Tie lines, everyone.